Okay, I'm at the west edge of the parking lot from Palmer Road Baptist Church where it abuts Sassafras Trails. So this whole edge of the parking lot uh, at the church that I grew up in uh, was sort of was off limits to us. It was always swampy back here and um, deep enough that in my dreams um, it's a river and repeated dreams over and over again all through my life and of course it represents uh, symbolically I'm sure in my dreams the uh, the wild side that uh, you know that place where we're not supposed to go the forbidden zone because in my dreams, I would uh, uh, raft the this marshy area was actually, you know, a, a stream, a creek with um, rapids that I would raft down, you know, Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer style rafting. And uh, historically speaking, we do have a... Um, creek in this area that has been submerged that is now known as McPhee Drain and I am told McPhee was a, a lawyer but uh, this area was always marshy and if you follow it through this direction uh, along the, pro the uh, east side of the Full Gospel Church we see it's still marshy, where the creek uh, started, where I assume McPhee Drain has been submerged. There's still, there's water back there. And the tall grass. Another 5G tower. They call that wetlands, right? Marsh, swamp. So let's see if I can get a better view back here. Let's park the bike. Hey, there's an opening in the fence. So I guess this is all that remains of the creek. Then McPhee Drain, uh, well, the what farm used to be the creek went that direction across the Adams uh, Junior High property uh, through Norwayne along what is now the back fence of my property in Norwayne. And uh, <laughs> emptied into the Rouge River. And in the, uh, the narration or the captioning of this ride, I'll explain some of the significance of this river symbolically to me, other than it just being the wild side, the forbidden zone, that a uh, religious child was warned against uh, getting messed up with into the symbolism of uh, uh, the, like the hymn there is a river uh, there is a fountain filled with blood the Rouge River being Rouge or Red uh, Red River
does, I wonder if this means that uh, maybe homeless people have been camping in here at the base of the 5G tower. Weird. I don't really want to get that close. But I'm curious, there's a jar with something uh, strange in it over there. So just very quickly, I'm going to check that out. Should I touch it? Fish of some kind. Yum. Fermented fish. So, yeah, I don't know. This is probably not a great place to camp if you're homeless. So, I don't know. I'm going to pause and get some still photograph photographs. And hopefully I'm not irradiating myself. <laughs> 